Hey yo, what's going on everybody? This video is the start of building some object-oriented programming code. We're just going to create a class and we're going to make an instance of that class. So very basic stuff. We'll get into more as we go on in these videos. So next video we'll talk about fields, then we'll get into methods and so forth. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. So what you wanna do is over here on the left in this microscopic text, right click your project and click a new class. Here we can name it whatever we want. I'm gonna go with user with a capital U. And with the methods down here, you do not wanna check public static void main. When we created our application, we did, but we don't wanna do that for our custom types. That's just for the starting point of the program. So click finish. And there you go, you created a class, nice and easy. Now this is essentially a custom type. So that means we can create variables of this type. And here's what that's going to look like. We'll go into our code and inside a main, we'll just say user with a capital U, give it some name such as user with a lowercase u, and then we'll say new user. So anytime we want to make an instance of a class, also known as an object, we use the keyword new followed by the name of the class in parentheses. This thing here is known as a constructor and we'll get into creating those later on in this series so we can customize it, make, make it a little bit more useful. But for now, this plain one is fine with just the parentheses, we don't have to pass in anything. In Java, everything is organized into classes. You can even see right now we're working in a class called My Sweet Program. And this here is a method, which we'll talk about making those here really soon. We essentially created a custom type similar to int or string or whatever it might be. And we can start building stuff around this type so we can take user as an argument, we can return users, we can do calculations on users or compare users. The possibilities are endless and I'm really excited to start building stuff out. So be sure to check out the next video because we're gonna talk about fields, also known as class level variables. So it should be pretty fun, I'll see you then.